Hey everybody, thanks uh, for tuning in and thanks a lot for watching the previous video on uh, modeling this uh, sci-fi crate. So here we go, uh, this is where we left off and uh, what I want to do now is I want to create some other uh, details on this and um, here's what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to select this part and hide it, H to hide it. I'm going to come back over here and see what we got. All right, uh, this section right here, uh, and this mirror on the other side, I want to um, extend this down. Okay, I'm gonna press uh, E, and then don't freak out. <laughs> ne uh, G, Z, negative 0 0.08, like that. Okay, it's come down on the other side, and now I'm gonna press S, Y, Point eight and accept so I'm gonna have that okay so with that done I'm now going to alt H and bring back the middle part we can see it overlaps that's fine um, what we're going to do now is I'm going to let's go into edit mode and let's throw down an edge loop right there and control B pull that out until it pretty much matches up with the top okay now I think I'm going to select both of these and go into edit mode and now I am going to select uh, this edge here and I want it the same distance as that one so I'm going to uh, turn on snap to edge and that's the Y direction so I'm going to go G Y and I'm just going to hover my mouse over there I'm going to do the same on this one with this one G Y and snap my mouse to there so I've got the same width right there and that's going to go all the way around okay cool um, now what I'm going to do is I'm turn off snapping I want these things on the bottom going up, so I'm going to separate out the bottom. I'm going to select those, Control plus to expand my selection. That's going to be the bottom. So I'm going to press P to separate, and now I've just got the bottom piece here. Make sure I am in medium point. Uh, set the origin to geometry, and I'm just going to go ahead and pull that away a bit. Now on the bottom, I also want that lip that I had on the top there before that piece. So let's do that. And and I could do that to a certain height, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to select it all, E, and then it come up a little ways like this. That's fine. Okay, it's this piece that's going to come up. Now what I might do is I might do it on one side and then copy it to this piece and to this piece and to this piece and snap them in I have a feeling I'm going to do that so let's just do this so I went 0 0.08 so I'm going to hit uh, E to extrude and I'm going to call GZ 0 0.08 so that's going to bring it up the right amount and I went SY 0.8 so that piece should be the exact same height and sort of angle as the top piece. I'm going to do something about thickening these up uh, in a moment as well. So what I was thinking was, was thinking I would take, you know, like all this stuff here and I'd break that off as a piece. And I would, I would copy it to here, and to here, and to here. I suppose I could have mirrored that. Well, I could just do this one pretty quick, so I don't have to copy that. So let's just do that. Let's just go uh, extrude, and then uh, GZ 0 0.08, and then SY 0.8. And that one's done. And, yeah 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 so let's try this let's save that let's 
select this, and because this is a cube, I, I should be able to do this. Let's get rid of that. Let's try this. And we'll uh, this, uh, sh shift, shift D, rotate Z90 minus. Let's pull this out here. And where am I looking? Probably the front, right? Okay, so let's just go ahead and snap to edge. Let's pull this in and see how well this, this baby's going to snap. Yeah, that part's snapping. Okay. Are you going to want to snap? It's not snapped yet. So let's... Oh. Let's snap to vertex. Not quite. Okay, so what I need to do is, um, let's just grab this again. Probably should have done without the bevel. looking pretty good so let's go into vertex and uh, let's merge at center let's, I, I think I'm probably gonna have to merge all these I'll turn that off yeah let's just to make sure okay I'm gonna clone wireframe actually do that merge at center Just hitting M there. I'm a box selecting M widget center, and uh, not yet. Uh, widget center. Let's just see how this is coming along. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the bottom for now. Uh, let's go out and let's have a look at the bevel. side let that sticking up and so I could actually now um, do this and cut that right down the middle and look from where I could get rid of that let's mirror that now okay so I'm clipping let's put it up See how she looks. I think it's okay. Let's apply that mirror. Let's come in. Start off the bevel. And um, how about if we shift alt and click that? Let's try to see how nice grid fill is. Just to get the bottom there. And let's turn that back on. It looks okay to me. And I think we've got it. What we needed to do. All right, so now uh, I'm going to put on a solidify on this and we're going to make it even thickness and we're going to come from 0 0.025. Let's try that. 
That might think that's a bit thick for a piece of metal, but I might want it like that. Uh, so like that would have that. And uh, just to try, let's get rid of this. Just to try this um, here also will solidify. Uh, even thickness, uh, 0 0.025. But I think I might put it above the bevel and this one it might put it above the bevel. Like that, yeah. So you can see we have these pieces here and those pieces. And then if I bring this back now, let's take this guy, just bring it a little closer. Okay, so what I'm thinking now I'm going to do is come in here and I got these edge loops and um, let's let's this is going to need to solidify as well so i'm going to do that and even thickness let's go for the same 0 0.025 okay i'll bring it above and so just imagine the sort of the final position let's say it was i want a little bit of space in between let's say it was going to be there and let's say this was going to be roughly there then what we would do is from the side i'm going to look Okay, and I'm going to bring in an edge loop to you know, right about there, you know, and we can adjust some of this and down to here. I mean, I could cut this in half and mirror it top and bottom, but it's no big deal. I'm just going to go ahead and delete um, both of these faces, but I'm going to turn off uh, the uh, solidify for now. So did I get that? Yeah, just got the back there. I'll, I'll likely be mirroring this around. So, and then in uh, vertex selection, I'm going to select those, and let's try scaling in the Y. Let's see if I put the solidify back on. Doesn't look too bad. That's a basic idea of what I'm going for, anyhow. Um, yeah, so not mirroring, actually copying over, like I said. So let's get rid of that. Let's uh, just focus on that. So this piece is the one that works. So what if we were to... Well, what if we were to, first of all, cop... No, we'll do do that. Let's uh, first of all mirror that. So I'm going to select that and X those vertices. I'll put on a mirror and bring it right up to the top anyhow. Just to be sure with clipping. Let's have a look at that. So I get it on the other side. Let's apply the mirror. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just get rid of this stuff here. Grab this stuff. Rotate Z90 minus. I don't know if the minus really would matter in this case. Let's bring you roughly in. Let's go to vertex. snapping come on play nice is that going to be the position I think that's going to be the position let's go in the wireframe and one and just Merge at center. Let's turn off the bevel, make it a bit easier as well. M. Merge at center. 
all these points that are on the on the ends there. sure that they're joined. Okay, come on, stop. Get off there. Thank you very much. Looks like I got it. Okay, now let's, we'll, uh, what will I do? I could just do that again, or do I want to mirror it? I don't know. I put an edge loop there. I can maybe get rid of that after. All right, so let's uh, look from side. I will mirror that. The faces, let's turn that off, by the way. And let's mirror this. Do anything, bring that back. What happened here? Okay. Oh, yeah, I didn't extend them down there. Hmm. May not have needed that. The top one, bottom one. And I may have to do a little bit of adjusting. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, take this, apply the mirror. Okay, now. Um, I'm going to be doing something uh, right here. I'm going to be putting like the lock mechanism. So um, I'm going to I'll use this notch for something else. So it's a question of I don't think I want this one here. And I mean that's simple enough uh, to fix. If I didn't, I might actually want one there. Uh, what I could do is turn on snapping and just move this snap to there. Take this. Snap to there, and then just uh, make a face here, and, and it's you know that one's gone. Uh, I can always do that again if I want to. Okay, and like I say, I'll be using this. Well, let's close it for now. Actually, we'll do something different there. Okay, so grab those four. I have to make a face. Uh, we'll use that area. So we now have those notches, and hopefully they're okay. Let's switch over to cavity and have a quick look at this. Um, you're probably seeing this. I'm going to deal with that in a second. Okay, so um, I'm not done messing around with the top by any means, but one I think I could be doing is I'll come over here, I'm weighted normal, and you'll see this enable. Uh, auto smooth and uh, come into normals and I'll do that and that should make it look a lot nicer but there's more to do up there anyhow there's other things I could do for that I just wanted to have a look at this okay so this is this is what we've got so far okay so that's what it looks like with those uh, notches notches 